Kibera is the fourth largest informal settlement in the world, as well as being the largest in Africa. Many of the residents rely on charcoal as a source for fuel, for heating and food. Currently the wood for charcoal has been cut down from the local forests, then converted to charcoal with a 10-15% conversion rate, then transported to Kibera where an estimated 78% of the cost is added. This means it is becoming more and more difficult for low-income families to afford charcoal, creating a larger societal gap. We realised that all of these issues were linked and created a three-step cycle to combat them, and we have called it Moso Soil. Step one is growing the bamboo. Using a mix of fertiliser and seeds to create a seed ball, which will be made by local people in order to simplify the planting process. This is then planted in sap farms or in the ground, and left to grow over four to five months until it is fully grown. Bamboo plants show trends that can serve to absorb cadmium, lead, zinc, chromium and copper via phytoremediation, which leave the soil clean for later crops. Bamboo also helps to strengthen soil, which can help with flood prevention. Bamboo is then coppiced, which means it will grow back once cut down. This creates a sustainable loop of materials for charcoal, where it is then harvested for the next step. Step two is the conversion of bamboo into charcoal using an efficient charcoal kiln. This was made from a reused oil truck and steel tubing. We have created a step-by-step -step guide that Tiberians can use to create their own. This will allow them to create their own charcoal, which they can then sell locally, meaning the money is remaining in the Tiberian economy, rather than leaving it. The shape of the central tube allows for greater airflow that increases the heat and efficiency. The reflow tube pipes the gases released by the conversion process back into the furnace, which ignites and increases the temperature. This burns off the half of gases and reduces the amount of fuel needed to create the charcoal. Step three is to repeat the process. This creates a cradle-to-cradle -cradle cycle which solves the supply and demand issues of charcoal that has such a negative impact on Kiberians and the Kenyan environment. Investing in this system is not just a short-term fix. It allows for a genuine long-term solution to develop and grow within Kibera.